Hi Internet, Big Al here at Paler. Let's talk a little bit about drawing limits. Okay, It's pretty easy, and I promise to stop saying okay. It's pretty easy to look at drawing limits uh, by looking at your screen here. The workspace, that's this thing, the graphical area, the workspace that is presented in AutoCAD theoretically has no limits. That is to say it's infinite. It's infinite in this direction and it's infinite in this direction. It has no limits. When you make a drawing you set limits. There are limits to the drawing. So think about it that way. Think about setting up limits visually. Right now, right down here at 0, 0, right down in this area right here, is where you start the program. Imagine your eyeball as a camera looking right here. Now because of your peripheral vision, if you're looking right here and concentrating on this dot here, you probably can't see what's going on over here. It's out of your perspective limit. Okay. So what we do is we, we take an area we're going to work in, we, uh, we limit that area and then we blow it up and present it on the screen. Okay, One way to do it, set up the limits of the drawing, is by uh, simply defining those limits. For instance, let's go up here let's go up here and pick up uh, a rectangle and let's just go like this and he, we agree that we're going to draw within these limits. Okay? If we go to view and hit extents, we will take that little area that we defined. It's right here, nice and big for us to work within these limits. Fair enough? So then, alright, what's limits? The drawing area which defines the boundaries for constructing a drawing, okay, can be looked upon as the sheet size, the size of paper that you want to use. That sheet size for that drawing is a limit. Let's just try this. Let's set up an 8.5 by 11 limit for a piece of paper. Let me go to home. Let me pick up modify. Let me erase this. Uh, we can do this either by either command. I'm going to type REC for rectangle, enter. I'm going to say 0, 0 for the x coordinate and 11, 8.5 for the y coordinate. And I'm going to zoom it. Zoom extents. This is an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper. 8.5 this way, 11 this way, and notice all the other stuff is missing. I'm not interested in the infinite workspace, I'm interested in the limited workspace that I'm working in right now. Everything I print in here will print on an 8.5 by 11 sheet of paper without having to scale it, so on and so forth. That's what we mean by limit. Think of limit as the drawing area that you want to use as taken from the infinite drawing space that is given. Also keep in mind that if you focus on your viewpoint, which is here, and you can see clearly this spot, then you have a rule of thumb that says your limits are okay. If you're focusing over here and you can't see anything over here, then you should reconsider your limits. Of course, there's a lot of math to it, so on and so forth, but don't worry about it. This is just the introduction, and we'll get particular later on. So this is Big Al, and uh, this has been uh, Drawing Limits, and we'll talk to you again soon. Thanks.